Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to access your email through the website. The first thing you'll want to do from your desktop is to open up the internet. If you're on a school issued device, then you will be directed uh, straight to the CastleburyISD.net website. If you are from a different device, then you will type in the website that's located here at the top. You'll notice that there are headings across the top and each heading has its own menu. And under the staff heading, well, there is a menu of many different resources for staff to use. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna select the employee email. Once I click on the employee email, I will be taken to the portal for Outlook Online. Before we log in, let's look at some options you have for logging in. First and foremost, you will need to know your username. Everybody's username, as far as staff goes, is going to be set up using your last name and your first initial. If there are duplicate names, then you will be given a different username. But most of us will use our legal last name and legal first name initial. You'll notice mine is here. My last name is Kelso with my first initial of K. Then notice that there are three different ways we can log in. We can type in CISD backslash, and notice that is a backslash followed by our username. We can type in our username at castleberryisd.net, or we can type in our username at CISD.net. Each time you come to this portal, these three options will be shown to remind you of what you can use to log in. Notice that I used the castleberryisd.net. Then you will type in your secure password that you created in activity one of this module. Once you have your username and your password, you will then click on sign in. Oh, by the way, these two emails can be used interchangeably. So when you're given your email address out, either email will come to your Outlook. So whichever one you feel most comfortable handing out, you can give to others to be able to contact you. So we'll click on sign in. And once we sign in, you're gonna see that Outlook is set up. It defaults to your inbox, but you still have access to all your other emails, any drafts you might have, your send items, your delete items, anything else that you've got in your email. Also, if you click on settings, then you can also change the display settings here. So if you don't, if you want a different way for your email to show, your settings will allow you to change those there. Also, to get to your um, calendar, uh, there's not a the calendar is not listed here in this list. But for Office 365, we'll click on the little waffle in the top left corner, and you'll notice that your calendar is here. So all your items that you put on your calendar can still be accessed through your online uh, email as well. It will just be through um, a different application other than just the Outlook application. So that will get you started and that will get you going uh, with getting your email online. If you have any questions at all, please contact us and we will be glad to help you. Thank you.